Christian greetings to you all, especially to the Fuji family. I am here as asked for that you leave. I have a testimony to give about the Fuji. You know, it was Jesus who made the statement about John the Baptist when he saw him and said, Among all men, this man is the greatest of all men, John the Baptist. I am a better man today because of Doug Fucci. He's a man among men. His testimony in my heart will never die out. The things I've been told about him, the things I've witnessed about him, have all truly melted and moved my heart to be more passionate for people. Doug had all the qualities of what a person was supposed to be. There's no greater love than the love that is for your neighbor. Doug loved his neighbors. Doug had the qualities of charity, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, faith, self-control, modesty, and long-suffering. To the best of my knowledge, I don't even recognize or know if he ever had a temper. I never saw him raise his voice. I never heard him say a bad thing about anybody. He was just dumb. He was quiet, but he was confident. I know the stories when over there on Smith Road, when Doug's mother-in-law lived there, James Schroyer lived there, and neither one of them were doing very well. I know it because of Doug's love for people, that when Grandma was sick and unable to even go to the restroom, that Doug would pick her up and take her to that bathroom and see that she was taken care of and carry her back to her bed. Then also, when James Wesley, we all know him as Dingo, was a little bit on the heavy side, but Doug would do his utmost to help him get to that restroom and take him, help him as much as he possibly could. Truly, I've known a lot of good people in my life, and I'm not here to tell you stories about wonderful things, but I've had supper with George Stein, who's a Steinbrenner. I sat with Ted Turner in the Atlanta Brave game and had supper, but I've never met a better man than, I met, than when I met your father, Doug Fucci. I'm here to tell you he's a wonderful guy, he's a wonderful man, and he has the heart that a man should have to be. You all ought to be proud of this day, that he's been excellent in the hands of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And God with his loved one, Peach. God bless you. Those are words to... Those are words to live by. You know, Doug was an exceptional person. And his memory will live on in the stories and in each one of the children, the grandchildren, and the great-grandchildren. In the books of the Bible, we read about exceptional men. And they were not exceptional than any different than us. They were people like you and I. They just believed. And that's the important thing. We know that Doug is in heaven right now, having a great time. He's probably fishing with Peter out in the boat, and they are swapping stories. Because they do lie a little bit in heaven. But who catches the big one? You know, they probably go down to the local place and get a cup of wine or something and start telling stories, you know. <laughs> but not only that, Doug left a legacy that can never be taken away. And that's the beautiful thing. No, we cannot touch him anymore. No, we cannot go up and hold him anymore. But that doesn't mean he's gone. All it means is he's in heaven now. And he's still watching over you. Over the girls, over all the kids. 
kids or the grandkids and the kids. So I'm giving you a little bit of a warning. If you mess up and you feel a bump on the back of the head, it's probably done. Because I've had a few of them from my dad who passed away. And he's reminding you, I'm watching over you and taking care of you. Don't do that. That's the glory of heaven. He's in heaven. No more pain, no more suffering, no more sorrow. And what does that do for us back here? This long week of preparing for the funeral. What you do is you mourn. And there is no book or any place in the Bible that says how long you're going to mourn. You can mourn as long as you want. There's nothing that says, well, now six months you should be over it. No. Something is going to happen. I guarantee you that something's going to happen and you're going to think it's done. Tears will come down. And it's okay. Okay for the guys to mourn and cry. If Jesus can cry, weep at the tomb of Lazarus and weep in the garden of Gethsemane, if Jesus can cry, why can't we? And secondly, I know for a fact there is no time limit. 52 years ago I served as a veteran, like Doug was, in Vietnam, and my best friend was blown away. Come this end of April, I will be there in Maryland giving a speech to dedicate a bridge to him. And I have been pondering this and crying this, and I have been talking to him, and I still miss him. So don't be upset if you don't. If you're still crying, saying something's wrong with you, right? it's okay. It's going to be okay. God's going to take care of you. Don't worry about it. And it's especially hard to do a funeral when I lose one of my brother veterans. A couple years older than me, served around the same time I did. I lost a brother. And I'll miss him. But he's in heaven now. He's with God. <clears throat> Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, you anointed. You had destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting place of all your people. Keep our brother Doug we now lay to rest in the company of your saints. And at last, O oh God, raise him up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace run through the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, Our Father, Right in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine upon him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Eternally rest right upon him, O Lord, and let your pepper light shine upon him. And ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend <coughs> Almighty God our brother dog, and we commit his body to his resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust.
love our Papa. We miss him. We love him. We love him with our whole heart. This does conclude the funeral services here in the chapel for Doug. On behalf of his entire family, I'd like to thank you all for your presence here today. At this time, we'll be releasing from the rear of the room, passing by the casket. You are also all invited for a celebration of life. And I was informed that this is a Doug kind of party, that it is a BYOB kind of thing. Uh, and there will be a bonfire at his home and it will at the farm. And that address is 3613 Smith Road. And if you do need this address, you can come see me at the end of the service. Thank you. <laughs>